Welcome to the Quick Start Guide for Captioneer. Watch the how to install video first, and then follow along here to get up and running. I'm in a vertical sequence with my edited footage. In the text panel, hit transcribe to transcribe your audio directly in Premiere. When it's done, we can make any corrections or edits to the text. It's never been a better time to be an editor, be a creator, be a filmmaker, and that's Editor, be a creator, be a filmmaker, and that's only going to improve as long as the world isn't, you know, in a nuclear war. And it's a beautiful thing that kids and young people are. Once the transcript is good, come to these three dots and hit create captions. Hit create captions again. That generates a captions track, which is fully editable in the timeline and the text panel. Hmm. I think there's too many characters per line, and I want faster captions. We can easily regenerate them from the transcript. To make them faster, I'll bring this down to 16 characters and 1.5 seconds. Hit Create Captions, and it will generate with the new settings. That is looking much better. I'll delete the first caption track. Go to the three dots and hit Export to SRT File. I'll export to my Downloads folder, and then come over to Captioneer. Under Import Captions, we can browse for that SRT file or we can drag and drop it onto the panel. Under Select Mogurt, let's select one. Captioneer comes with 10 base Mogurts. I like this typewriter one. We can leave text input on single and come down to Create. We'll add Mogurts to track two, process the full sequence, and hit Add Mogurts. They're all added to the sequence and will appear in the center of our shot. We can turn off the visibility of the original captions track. To try out a different preset, we can pick another one from the Select Mogurt tab. I'll regenerate the sequence with this one by selecting it and hitting Add Mogurts. The clips on track two are overwritten, and we can see the new design. To edit the graphics, select one of the Mogurts in the timeline. We can go to Window, Essential Graphics to edit all the settings. We can turn on or off the animation, change the characters per line, reposition, resize, and have finer controls for other graphic adjustments, like anchor point, text controls like paragraph alignment, font, word and line spacing, fill and stroke colors, and other effect controls. I'm happy with my design and I want to copy it for all the clips. Select the Mogurt we changed and go to Captioneer, Update, Copy. We can click and drag to select all our clips, hit paste, and they all instantly update. Let's play this back. It's never been a better time to be an editor, be a creator, be a filmmaker, and that's only going to improve as long as the world isn't, you know, in a nuclear war. And it's a beautiful thing that kids and young people have these tools to push themselves creatively. We can edit the Mogurt text from inside the Essential Graphics panel, or edit all Mogurts at once from the Text Graphics tab. Edit the timing between Mogurts by simply dragging out the ends of the clip or using the rolling edit tool. To be a filmmaker, and that's only going to improve as long as the world isn't, you know. And of course, you have full access to all of the effects and presets inside Premiere. Blurs, glows, or drop shadows can be dropped onto any clip in the timeline. Edit the settings inside the effect controls panel like normal, and then copy the effect to all the Mogurt clips. It's never been a better time to be an editor, be a creator, be a filmmaker, and that's only going to improve as long as the world isn't, you know, in a nuclear war. And it's a beautiful thing that kids and young people have these tools to push themselves creatively. Captioneer is the fastest and easiest way to create animated captions directly in Premiere. Check out the other videos for topics like building your own Mogurts, downloading new Mogurts, translating captions, copy-pasting settings, and more.